start standing up for a moment this morning. So uh, come up into a standing position. I'd like you to look at your feet and organize them so that they're parallel to each other, separated um, as wide. As, so we want the center of the hips, the center of the knees, the middle of the ankle, the middle toe, all in a line. It's a neutral parallel position with the legs. And we're going to talk about the aspect of Pilates, uh, Pilates that we, um, we get strong, but we get long at the same time. It's not about bulking up or compacting, but being um, strong at a long length. So I want to talk about lengthening and stretching and being anchored um, when we stretch. Uh, think about what the purpose of an anchor is, uh, nautically. So, um, something heavy is dropped down and then there's a connecting rope uh, between the anchor and the boat and <clears throat> when the boat floats away the rope will get caught at a certain point so that's the stretch if the anchor drags along the bottom then the boat's going to move and we're not going to get the stretch of the connecting cord so when we anchor, it's so that we can get the length when we anchor in our body, so that we can get the length of the stretch. Um, if the anchor is not steady, then the muscle is not going to be uh, lengthened. So we're going to stand and feel what it's like to lengthen here um, and come back here at the end and see um, what it feels like after working. Uh, so again, make sure that your feet are parallel. And I'd like you to feel the ball of your big toe, the ball of your little toe, the middle of your heel. And for a, mo a moment, imagine those points dropping down into the floor, each point equally. So there's your root, your foundation through the foot. And the foot is well balanced here, front to back, side to side. So we're going to make that for this um, exercise the anchor. You're anchoring down through those three points under the feet. And then bring your attention up your legs. Let the legs come to their full high, uh, length, which is going to include pulling up on your kneecaps. And I think you can slide your kneecaps right into your hip joints. So we're engaging the front of the thigh a little bit. Legs long, and then we notice the pelvis, which is gathering those two structures bringing that into one. And we're going to use the pelvic floor. So let's feel the tailbone, the sit bones, the pubic bone, and gather the pelvic floor in towards its center. And then wrap the transversus belt around. And then from this anchor at our center, lift tall through the center of the head. When I say crown of the head, or uh, top of the head, center of the head, I'm talking about right in the very top of your head. You might want to feel that point so you know where the length is. Imagine you have a puppet string extending up out of that point. When you lengthen up, your chin's gonna drop down. Relax your shoulders. So feel yourself at this um, full height, and you're gonna see sometimes when we stretch, we, all the energy goes in one direction. Sometimes it's reaching in a couple different directions. That's that axial extension we've talked about. So now we have our feet reaching down and our crown reaching up. We're pulling away from the center and you can see why it's important to have this anchor in the core so we can get the full length. Now we're gonna work quite a bit with a flat back, back today. Um, so I want to feel what that um, is like here. Notice as you stand with the length of the body, the feet reaching down, the crown reaching up, you might feel a little bit of compression or engagement in the lower and maybe even the low mid back. So as we go into our flat back, what I want you to think of is the fact that you're lengthening your lower back. And we're gonna do that by simultaneously pulling up on the pubic bone towards the sternum, towards the navel and then towards the sternum, and then down on the tailbone. So I'm bringing the tail between the legs, pulling up on the pubic bone. Feel that length come in to the lower back. It's a little bit of a stretch there. And you may even feel the lengthening at the back of the neck a bit more extremely. And then relax that. So when we go to flat back throughout the practice, um, you're going to draw your navel to your 
sorry, your pubic bone towards your navel and draw your tail between the legs at the same time. Um, let's do that one more time because I want you to notice one more thing. So we're going to gather the pelvic floor, feeling, find the belt of the transversus, and then let's lengthen the lower back by drawing the pubic bone towards the navel, tucking the tail between the legs, and you may also feel some lengthening here at the front of the thighs. And then release that. And relax into a comfortable position, standing at your full height, but without any tension. Okay, now we're gonna lie down. Uh, we will use a TheraBand at some point during this practice, so you might have that at the ready. down into constructive rest pose, coming to the back and lying with the knees bent. We'd like to still have the feet in that parallel alignment, heels in line with the sit bones. Relax the arms, palms turned up. Give in to gravity for a moment. And bring the attention back down to the pelvic floor. Gather the pelvic floor in. Remember you're pulling the pubic bone, the sit bones, and the tailbone all towards each other. So you're shrinking towards the center. Gather your transversus abdominis with the belt going all the way around. We're still in our neutral spine at this point. I just want you to feel that work of the inner core. And then we're going to lengthen the lower back by drawing the pubic bone towards the navel and feeling the tail tuck between the legs, but concentrate on the uh, engagement in the front and the length in the back. Then let's keep that lengthened lower spine, bring the arms down to the sides. And we're going to go into the arm lifts, keeping this flat back position. So we have the inner core and the pelvic tilt going, lengthening in the lower back as we inhale, arms float up to the ceiling, and we're going to maintain that pelvic and uh, that lower back position as we reach the arms back towards the wall behind you. And float the arms up. And then lower the arms down to the sides. And we're going to keep the lengthened lower back. Inhale, arms float up. Anchoring in the inner core. And reach back. Now notice you're getting some length in the front of the armpits and along the arm of the core. Inhale, arms float up. We're continuing to lengthen the lower back and lower the arms down, anchoring in the core. And one more time with the pelvic tilt in place, steady pelvis, lengthen lower back, reach back. I'm going to keep the arms back and really reach um, through your wrists towards the wall behind you and then draw your shoulder blades down your back. And you're going to have some dynamic tension there. With the lower back flattened, the arms nice and straight, then let's reach the back ribs down to the mat and hit the front ribs. And float the arms up towards the ceiling. With the exhale, we're going to keep the flat back and go to a head lift. And inhale, head down. Keep the arms very straight. Keep tilting the pelvis, engaging the inner core, imprinting and knitting. Reach the arms back towards the wall behind you and draw your shoulder blades down towards your back pockets as you reach, reach your wrists wrists away from your elbows, straighten the arms, and come back up. And keep in the flattened lower back in place, lower the arms down. Find the inner core, re-engage with that low core work. Inhale, straight arms to the ceiling. Imprint and knit the ribs, and draw the shoulder blades down the back as you reach back behind you with straight arms, finding a lot of length through the arms. Now notice all the places that you're lengthened. I'm gonna stay here for a moment, we're lengthening the arms, Lengthening the back of the neck, lengthening the lower back. And float the arms to the ceiling. And one more time, going to a little head lift. And lower back down. We're going to bring the hands behind the head. And relax a moment here. And then we'll re-engage the inner core. Lengthen the lower back by tilting the pelvis. By, make sure you're tilting the pelvis by pulling the pubic bone towards the navel, not by pressing your feet into the floor. Imprint and knit the ribs and take a head lift. 
And we're going to take a side bend as we bring your le the left elbow towards the left hip, lengthening the right side. We're keeping the pelvis tilted. Inhale back to the center and exhale. Bend to the right, lengthening the left side. Inhale to the center. Now we're going to keep the chest open so you're also finding length between the sternum and the front of the pit of the throat and inhale to the center and exhale side bend to the right. Keeping that pelvis pelvis tilt going and keeping the imprint going one more time. Side bend left. Then inhale center and keep the length in the lower back as we side bend right. And inhale center. And then lower the head. Relax the arms down. Relax into neutral and give into gravity for a moment. And then let's set the inner core again and tilt the pelvis, lengthening the lower back. Imprint and knit the ribs and we're going to go to alternate leg lift. So we're keeping the pelvis steady. The lower back is flattened, lengthened, and we'll lift the right foot up and flex the foot. Extend out long through the heel, stretching the front of the thigh and the back of the ankle and bend the knee. And lower the foot back down, keeping your flat back, relaxing the shoulders, but steady around the low core. Left foot up. And exhale, flex and reach through your heel. Feel the stretch around the knee and the back of the ankle, the calf, and bend the knee. And lower back down, keep the flat back. Continue to steady the pelvis. And again to the right side. And flex your foot, reach out. Feel the stretch in the ankle, the back of the calf. And bend the knee and lower back down and keep tilting the pelvis, inner core is still working, left foot up and flex extend and bend the knee and lower back down. Continue to lengthen the lower back and one more time. Reaching through the heel, really feel the stretch in the back of the ankle. You want to even feel stretch in the bottom of the foot, the front of the thigh and bend the knee. Continue to tilt the pelvis to lengthen the lower back and then the left side. Reach through the heel with a stretch in the calf. Lengthen the front of the leg and bend the knee and lower back down and relax. And then we'll reset the inner core. Lengthen the lower back by tilting the pelvis. Imprint and knit the ribs. Keeping that back flattened, we'll raise the right foot up. Continue to imprint and bring the left foot up as well. And let's go into pistons. We're keeping the back ribs down, the lower back flattening. And as we lower the foot down, feel the leg coming to the front of the thigh and lift back up. Exhale, lower the left and inhale, lift back up. Keep your flat back, keep tilting the pelvis, lengthening the lower back, right down, and then left. Be sure your exhale as you lower, and inhale as you come up. Make sure those back ribs are staying down also. Flat back and back ribs down. And left side. Let's do it one more time on each leg. One hand to each knee, and we'll relax the legs out wide. Finding some length in the inner thighs. And then loosen the legs in the sockets and begin to stir them around. And reverse. And give the knees a hug into the chest. Consciously lengthen the lower back and the back of the neck. And then keeping your lower back flat and move the knees away from the chest. Lower the right foot and the left foot. Relax completely. Going to neutral. We're going to do the next series before we get into head lifting. So we begin by lengthening the back of the neck. Drawing the chin towards the notch of the neck. We're relaxing everything below the neck, just feeling that length. 
So again, by gently pressing down into the mat with the back of the head and keeping the chin tucked, unweight, barely lift the head, relax the shoulders and lower back down. So the smaller you make that, the more challenging it's gonna be because we wanna use the small neck muscles in the neck, not the big strong muscles in the core. So gently press and keep the back of the neck long and unweight, tiny movement and lower and press. One more time, keeping the back of the neck long and weight and press. Then relax into neutral, soften everything. Now we're gonna turn and look to the left. So as you turn your head, feel the muscles in the right side of the neck lengthening. And then gently press the head down to the mat, lowering your left ear towards the floor Keep the uh, body below the neck relaxed and unweight the head, lifting up, and then lower and press. So tiny little unweighting of the head, and lower and press, barely moving the head. Press down, and then unweight, and lower, and then relax. The reason this neck series is so effective is because we use these small muscles in the neck um, at a long and a short length. So I'll now turn and look to the right. We feel the length coming into the left side of the neck. Right ear is aiming towards the mat and we'll gently press down. And then on weight, just barely lift the left ear towards the ceiling and then lower and press. And on weight, tiny, tiny movement and lower and press. And one more time on weight and lower and press, and then turn your head to the center. Relax. Now we're gonna lengthen the right side of the neck by bringing the left ear towards the left shoulder. Nose is still pointing straight up towards the ceiling, and we gently press the back of the head down, and then on weight, lifting the nose straight up towards the ceiling, and then a little press down, and on weight, and little press down, and on weight, and finish with your press. Bring the head back into the center, relax everything. Keeping the back of the head on the mat, bring your right ear towards your right shoulder, lengthen the left side of the neck, nose is pointing straight up towards the ceiling, and gently press, and Tiny lift of the nose towards the ceiling and gently press and unweight and press and unweight and press. Relax and come to the center and then tilt the head back and now we're trying to lengthen the front of the neck. Gently press and unweight the chin straight towards the ceiling and lower and press. Please make the movement very small. And unweight, chin straight up to the ceiling and lower and press. Your head should feel really heavy. And unweight and gently press. And then bring your head back to relax neutral and let the whole body relax into the pull of gravity. Then we're going to set the core again, inner core, then lengthen the lower back, tucking the tail to flatten the lower back, pulling the pubic bone towards the navel. Keep the back of the neck long as you imprint in at the ribs, and raise the uh, left foot up. Keep imprinting and bring the right foot up. Keeping the lower back flat, we're going to bring the arms down to the sides in preparation for the hundred. Feel the length at the back of the neck. Press the hands down, lengthening it through the arms, and lift your head up, keeping the length at the back of the neck. Keep your back flat, extend your legs out, externally rotate, and then exhale for five pulses. And inhale. So, a lot of length, long legs, long arms, long neck, lower back flat. Exhale for five, and inhale. Draw your kneecaps towards your hip joints and straighten the legs out. 
and inhale. Keep drawing the pubic bone towards the navel. Exhale for five. And inhale. And keep the arms nice and straight. And inhale. Chin is lifted. Uh, head, is, head is lifted. Chin into the chest. Back of the neck should feel long. And again, exhale for five. And inhale. One more time. Exhale. And inhale. And then let's bring the knees into the chest. Put the head down. Relax the neck. And then rock side to side in the sacrum. Then let's put one foot at a time down and come back into neutral. We're going to take a pelvic lift. Uh, if you have some support behind your head, take it out. Engage the inner core. Lengthen the lower back. Knit and imprint your ribs. And then press into your feet and raise your hips up. So we're simultaneously lengthening the lower back and the front of the thighs. We have those two uh, places. Also notice the back of the neck. And then come down, unfurling the spine, going to the flat back position. Pause for a moment there. Feel that length in the lower back. Check that your neck is still long. And then relax into neutral. And we're going to do it again like that. Engage the inner core. Lengthen the lower back. Imprint and knit. Keep the back of the neck long as you press up into the pelvic lift. Feel the length at the front thighs. The length at the back of the neck. You're drawing your tail between your legs, so you're continuing to lengthen the lower back. And then bring it back down. Coming to that lengthened flat back position. Keep the back of the neck long. Pause there, and then release. Now we're going to prepare for an exercise that we're going to do in neutral. So now we're going to do a neutral pelvic lift. And find the inner core without tilting the pelvis. Engage the uh, back ribs towards the mat, imprint and knit. And then press up, keeping your spine in this neutral position, raising the hips up without tucking your tail, you still feel length at the front of the thighs and the back of the neck. And then we're going to keep the ribs knitting together and hinge back down, lowering the hips so you come directly down to your neutral spine position. And relax there. And do that one more time. Find the inner core. Imprint and knit the ribs. Keep the spine neutral as you raise the hips to the ceiling. Feel the work at the back of the legs, the buttocks, as you lengthen the front. Staying nice and solid in the core, ribs wrapping around, length at the back of the neck, and then hinge back down. Pelvis is steady. And then we're going to relax into neutral. Okay, let's take the TheraBand. And uh, we're going to wrap the TheraBand around the ball of the right foot. And then hold the band in both hands, one, one end of the band in each hand. We're having the left knee bent for now. And I want you to get your elbows down onto the mat and drop your shoulders. So that's going to be part of your anchoring. We're going to work with neutral because we're stretching the hamstring. I want to isolate that hamstring stretch. So uh, no flat back here. Even though you're pulling your knee in, don't let the knee draw the back down to the floor. Release into a neutral spine. Engage your inner core. Imprint and knit the ribs. We're keeping the neutral lumbar. Keep your elbows down on the floor and then straighten your right leg. Coming to a hamstring stretch. I'm going to pull your kneecap towards your hip joint. Keep your elbows down and then bend the knee. As you do this, we're going to keep the back still the whole time. So straighten the leg up, finding the length at the front of the leg and the back of the leg. Keep your elbows down, and then bend the knee. Hamstring stretch. Anchoring down to the pelvis in its neutral position, 
anchoring in the shoulders and the elbows, anchoring in the core, straighten and bend. We're going to do two more like that. Reset the inner core, keeping your neutral imprint in it. Elbows stay down, straighten up. Feel the stretch of the hamstring and bend the knee. One more time. And straighten up. And now maintain. Maintain. I want you to pull your kneecap towards your hip joint. Make sure your uh, pelvis is neutral. Your elbows are still down. And then we're going to straighten the left leg out onto the floor, lengthening the front of the left thigh. From here, we're going to do our leg circles. Make sure your pelvis is a steady anchor. Remember that boat being the anchor dragged along by the boat doesn't do you any good. We want to anchor, have the anchor stay still, and then circle the leg around. Go very slowly. We've got the support of the band. Keep your elbows down. Make sure that your pelvis stays neutral. You feel the length at the back of the leg, the back of the front of both legs. After you go five one direction, reset your core and then reverse. Your leg may not be straight up at 90 degrees. That depends on your hamstring stretch. But please have the leg straight and the pelvis neutral and steady. Once you finish the second direction, we're going to bring the band, both ends of the band, over into the right hand. No, left hand, sorry. And then get that left elbow down on the mat. We're still in a neutral spine. And then we're going to bring the right leg down towards the floor, halfway down. Leg is straight, spine is neutral. Left elbow down on the floor, halfway down. Then be mindful that your pelvis stays still. That's your anchor. I'm going to start to bring the right leg down on an angle towards the right, the left side until you feel some stretch in your right outer leg. And then we're going to stay here 30 seconds. Keeping the leg straight the whole time, keeping the pelvis neutral the whole time. And we're going to come back up towards the ceiling. We're about halfway up. Left hand on the left hip. Take the, sorry, take the band into your right hand. Left hand on the left hip. Right elbow down. Then be sure your pelvis stays neutral. And begin to open the leg out towards the right side. Find a stretch in the inner thigh. And again, we're going to stay for 30 seconds. Be sure your left hip stays down. You're feeling length in your right leg, of course, but also down the front of your left um, leg, across the front of the belly. You're not um, crunching down to the core, but you're gathering and flattening. Inner thigh stretch. And then let's bring the leg straight back up to the ceiling. And bend the right knee and bring the left foot in. Take the band off of the right foot and bring both feet down into neutral for a moment. Relax. And then let's lift the left foot up and wrap the band around the ball of the left foot. Holding one end of the band in each hand, rooting down through your elbows. Find your neutral spine. We'll make sure that tailbone's down on the floor. Engage the low core, keeping your neutral. Find your imprint in your knit. And then straighten the left leg up to the ceiling. Keep your elbows down. And then bend the knee. And reach up. As you straighten your left leg, think about your kneecap coming towards your hip joint. And then bend the knee. Keep your elbows down and lengthen up. And bend the knee. 
One more time. Pelvis is neutral and stable. Straighten the left leg up. And bend the knee. And straighten up. Now we're going to keep the legs straight. Reset the inner core and the imprint in it and straighten the right leg out onto the floor. Take your neutral pelvis. Take your elbows down. And then we're going to circle the leg five times. Go very slowly. Keep your pelvis still, your legs straight. You may not be straight up at 90, that's fine, but try to have the legs straight. So feel how you're pushing up into the band with the ball of the foot and drawing your elbows and shoulders down to the floor, reaching in two directions. And then reverse. Sure you have your transversus abdominis wrapped around nicely. Elbows down. Check that the back ribs are down. I'm going to bring the band over into the right hand and get that right elbow down. Check the neutral. And we'll lower the left leg halfway to the floor. Keeping your pelvis still, we're going to bring the left foot down on an angle towards the right, uh, the floor on the right, until you feel a stretch in your outer left side. And we're staying 30 seconds in this stretch, lengthening the outside of the leg. You might not feel much at first, but if you stay and breathe, you'll start to feel that lengthening. Be sure your left hip stays down so you have something to stretch away from. And we come back up to the top. Switch the band into the left hand. Right hand on the right side of the pelvis. Anchor and take the leg wide over to the left side. Keep your right hip down, stretching the inner thigh. Also feel the length in the front of the right. Breathe as you stretch. Keep the pelvis steady. And then we're home. Coming straight back up to the ceiling. And bending the right knee. And then the left. And take the step off the foot. And rest in constructive rest for a moment. Okay, let's turn to the stomach. Place your hands underneath your forehead. Relax here into gravity. Lengthening the front of the legs and relaxing them. And I feel the length at the back of the neck as well. Now engage the inner core and try to take a little bit of that compression on the lower back by drawing the pubic bone towards the navel, the toe between the legs. Glide your ribs together and keep your tail tucking between your legs. Raise your chest and your head up off of the floor. So now we have the breastbone lengthening away from the pubic bone. The pubic bone, uh, the navel pulling towards the pubic bone. We're lengthening the front of the chest and the lower back at the same time. And lower back down. And then relax everything. Set it again, inner core. And we're going to draw the tail between the legs, feel the pubic bone pulling towards the navel. Knit your ribs in, press your elbows down gently, and raise the chest and the head. Drawing the shoulder blades down the back, and lengthening the chest, or opening the chest, lengthening the breastbone away from the navel, and lengthening the front of the legs, lengthening the lower back. 
and relax back down. In a lot of ways, that's kind of the opposite posture to real life. One more time because we tend to sit and bend forward a lot, so this would be the opposite. Getting length in the front of the hips, tuck the tail between the legs, slide the ribs and lift up, the chest being open, the front thighs being open, lower back supported and gently lengthened here. And then release back down. Now we're going to take the arms straight out in front. So we're lengthening the front of the, uh, or the armpits, the front and back of the armpits, lengthening the arms out long. We're going to do the same preparation with the core, engage the inner core, draw the tail between the legs, knit your ribs in, draw your shoulder blades down your back, raise your chest and your head, feel the lengthening of the breastbone away from the navel. At the same time, the pubic bone is pulling towards the navel. With all of that in place, we're going to raise the left leg up, lengthen the front of the left thigh even more. But don't um, give up on the work that you're doing around the pelvis. And then lower back down. Relax a moment. Reset. Pull the tail between the legs, slide the ribs together, raise the chest and the head. Breastbone lengthening forward, shoulder blades pulling down the back. You're still pulling your pubic bone to your navel. Still wrapping your transversus around and lengthen the front of the right leg by lifting it up. Feel the ankle moving away from the hip. The breastbone moving away from the navel. Shoulders moving away from the hands. And lower back down, a lot of length. Release. Again, we'll set the inner core, tilt the pelvis, slide the ribs, lift up. Feel the length at the front of the body here. Keep drawing the pubic bone up towards the navel, the shoulders down the back. We're going to steady the pelvis and lift the left leg again. Lengthen the front of the left thigh. And then lengthen it even more by bending the left knee. Of course, we're shortening the back of the leg, but getting more length in the front of the leg. And then straighten the leg out and release the head back down, let everything relax. And reset the inner core, tilt the pelvis, glide the ribs, press down to the forearm, raise the chest and the head, lengthening the pubic bone uh, up towards the navel, the sternum away from the navel. Anchor and keep your right hip down as you raise the right leg. Stretching the front right thigh and then bending the right knee and stretching the front of the right thigh even more. Keep your pelvis down. And then extend the leg. And lower back down. And relax. Let's bring the hands under the forehead for a moment. And then come up to rest on the forearms. This position uh, shortens the lower back, so let's engage the inner core. Feel the tail between the legs, knit the ribs, press down onto the forearms, and raise the left leg. Bend at the knee, and then we're going to kick, kick, and lower back down. And same thing on the right side. Kick, kick, and lower back down. Keep pressing the forearms down, raising the sternum. Bend the left knee, kick, kick, and the right. One more time on each leg. Now we're going to bring the hands together and tuck the toes under. Re-engage around the low core, we're coming up into a low plank. Press down into the forearms and lift. Now where's the length? From the crown to the soles of the feet, just like when you were standing up. So you have the inner core, the ribs knitting, press the elbows down, lengthen from the bottoms of the feet away from the head, from the head away from the bottoms of the feet. Long line. And then let's bring the knees down and move the hips back to the heels. And give the back a stretch. And then we're going to come um, actually, we're going to lie in the back for 
first. I want you to feel something. So I'm going to come to lie in the back in constructive neutral. We're about to go onto the side in exactly this position. So I just want you to be conscious of the relationship between the constructive rest pose and the hook line 45 degree um, hip flexion when we turn to the side. So right now we're in a relaxed, neutral position. And then we're going to turn to the left side and try not to crunch the spine as you turn to the side. So we're not curled into a little ball. We're still long from the crown to the tail. Um, and the legs are bent just as they are in constructive rest pose. So keeping the torso nice and long and open, let's engage the inner core. We're not going to tuck the tail here and then roll the leg out in the socket 10 times, keeping the right hip forward, pelvis steady. When you're done, relax. Feel the length from the crown to the tail. That's not going to change as we go to 90 degree hip flexion. So even though we've got a tighter angle at the hip, we're not rounding into a little ball. We're staying long and open. Right hip is forward. Engage the inner core. Make sure you're feeling your belt. And then roll the leg out in the socket. Ten times. Steady pelvis. The work's in the right butt. The, of the work of the movements in the right buttocks. Make sure your neck is also still long. When you're done, relax. And then we're going to lengthen all the way out into the zero degree hip flexion. So you may not be able to get the front of the hips totally straight, but as straight as possible. And we're still thinking long from the crown down to the tail. Engage the inner core. We're lengthening the knees away from the top of the head. And roll the leg out in the socket 10 times. And then relax when you're done, and we're going to straighten both legs out. We still have a long line from the crown to the tail, and now the legs are straight. Bring the uh, feet just a little forward of the hips. So we're not perfectly straight down the body. We're going to maintain our neutral spine. We engage the inner core. Lift the organs up off of the floor. Firm the waist. Find that length in the top waist and raise both legs up. And then stay long and open in the top waist as you raise the top leg up and down five times. And keep the, the organs lifted. Your waist is still long as you lower and lift the bottom leg five times. And then without collapsing in the core at all, five times forward and back. Finding the length, of course, in the front and back of the legs, but also stay long from your crown to your tail. And then we're going to take the top leg and circle it, uh, keeping that organ lift going so the waist doesn't crimp. Five times the other way, keep your organ lift. Keep the front of the legs long. Squeeze both legs together, point the toes. Now you've got length all the way down the front of the legs, down to the front of the ankles. Flex the feet back. Now feel the bottoms of the feet and the back of the ankles stretching. Squeeze the toes, point the feet. Long in the front of the foot, open the toes. Flex back, long in the back of the foot. Squeeze, point, fan, flex, and reverse. Reach out through the toes, squeeze the toes, pull back. Open, reach, squeeze, and come back one more time. And release both legs down. Let's take the right knee down to the floor in front of you and go to a spinal twist, reaching the right arm out to the side. So we've got a nice long line stretching through the right side of the body. We can increase that by raising the right arm 
higher, if that higher towards the wall behind you, not towards the ceiling, if that feels okay for your shoulder. And then we're going to go to the back and come to the constructive rest pose again. Relax in your neutral. Feel the two sides of the body. And then let's think about preserving this neutral position as we roll to the right side. We're still long from the crown to the tail. Rock the right hip forward, line the hips and the knees up. Engage the pelvic floor. Find your transversus belt and roll the leg out in the socket 10 times. Long and open through the torso. When you're done, relax. And then we're going to come into the 90 degree position. Be sure you don't curl into the ball here. We're just increasing the angle of the uh, hip flexion, but still keeping the length from crown to tail. Engage the inner core, and then roll the left leg out in the socket 10 times. And then feel the length as you open the hips out to zero degree hip flexion, reaching your knees and the top of your head far from each other. Engage the inner core, keep your pelvis steady and roll the left leg out in the socket 10 times. And then relax, and we'll straighten both legs out. Feet just slightly forward of the hips, but we do want to keep the torso long and open. Find the pelvic floor, the belt, lift your organs, lift your legs. Notice that there's a lot of space or maximum space between hips and ribs. We're going to keep that as we go up and down with the top leg five times. And down with the bottom leg, five times, uh, down and up. Keep engaging around the waist. Squeeze the inner thigh. Stay long to the torso and forward and back with the legs, stretching the front and the back of the leg. Be sure your shoulders are not counterbalancing the stretch. Stay really long from crown to tail. And back to the center, re-engage, top leg circling, maintaining our length as we circle. Reach your foot as far away from your head as possible. Re-steady re and reverse. Then we'll squeeze the inner thighs. Flex the feet back, feel that length at the back of the ankle, squeeze the toes, point the feet, feel the front of the front of the ankle, and open the toes, flex back, squeeze, point, and flex, again, squeeze, point, and flex with the toes open, stretch out, squeeze, and pull back, and open, and stretch out, squeeze, and pull back one more time, and then relax. We're going to drop the left knee to the floor in front of you and move into a spinal twist. And again, feel the length in your left side and increase it if you like by stretching your left arm up closer to the wall behind you. Maximum length from your armpit down to your hip.
and then release, coming onto your back. Bring both knees into the chest. Okay, we're going to do the uh, single straight leg, the double straight leg, and the crisscross from your abdominal series. So let's find the inner core, tilt the pelvis, flattening the lower back, imprint in at the ribs, and then lift the head up. Take one leg straight up towards the ceiling, lengthen it up, and then the other leg straight out in front of you. Open the elbows and then switch. Stretching the front and the back of the leg, keeping a flat back, chin into the chest. Big, long stretch. And both legs will come straight up. We're going to bring the hands behind the head to support. Point the toes. Keep scooping your belly in so your lower back is lengthened and lower the legs down just a little without allowing your back to peel away from the floor and then come back up. Keeping the back lengthened, flattened down to the floor. We have inner core working. We have pelvic tilt, imprinting and using the ribs. And we're going to bend the knees and keep lengthening, flattening the lower back as we crisscross. And then bring your knees to your chest, put your head down, relax the neck. I'm going to keep the back flat. And lower one foot down, and then the other. Keep the back flat and straighten one leg out, and then the other. And keep the back flat, reach the arms up overhead. Lengthening the back of the body, lengthening the front of the body, and we're going to do our roll up. Drawing the navel to the spine, inhale the arms up to the ceiling, and float up. Keeping the uh, belly scooped into the spine. We're going to come really tall and sit up tall on the sit bones. Anchor down through your sit bones, lengthen up through your crown, and then we're going to draw the front of the body, keeping the front of the body as long as possible over the front of the legs. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Reach your crown and your tail away from each other. Relax your shoulders. And then sit tall, and we're going to come to stand on the knees. Lengthening from crown to tail. Bring the left foot forward, align the left ankle and the left knee. Tall through the center of the body. Engage the inner core. Tuck your tail between your legs. Lengthen the lower back and feel the stretch in the front of the right thigh. Now relax that. And again, inner core. And then tuck the tail between the legs and feel the length in the front of the right thigh. And relax that. One more time. Inner core. Lengthen the lower back. Lengthen the front of the right thigh. Relax it and bring the left foot back down, the left, left knee down onto the floor. Standing tall through the center line, we'll bring the right foot forward, align the right ankle and knee. Engage the inner core. Draw the tail between the legs. Feel the pubic bone lift to the belly or to the navel and then lengthen the front of the left thigh. And release. And again, inner core. And tuck the pelvis, lengthening the front of the left thigh. Release. Last time. Inner core. And find that length in the front of the left thigh. And release. 
All right, I come up into a standing position. I'd like to uh, sit there and again. You want to take the TheraVan under the balls of the feet, holding one end in each hand and then stand up tall. So to root down through the three points of each foot, follow big toe, little toe, middle of the heel. Feel that reaching down. Feel the crown of the head reaching up and then notice the way that the band is pulling down on the shoulders, the arms and the shoulders. Engage your inner core, knit your ribs around, and then pick your shoulders up around your ears, and then give in to the pull of gravity. Let the shoulders be pulled down from the ears by the pull of the band. And again, we're going to shrug up, and then release the shoulders away from the ears, feeling the length come into the neck. And one more time, shrug up, and then release. Now I re-engage your inner core and stand tall from crown to spine to tail. Knit your ribs, we're going to come up with the shoulders, and keep your ribs knitting. Roll your arm, your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then feel that pull down. Notice how you get taller, or you can get taller through the center line of the body as the shoulders release away from the ears. Let's do that again. Shrug up, knit the ribs, circle back, squeeze the shoulder blades, and let the, the band pull the arms and hands down, softening the shoulders away from the ears. One more time. Pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then let the band pull down. Keep your ribs knitting, and then release. Kind of relax the tension on the band. Doing a little balancing. Re-engage the inner core. Hit the ribs. I'm going to soften the knees. Then we're going to take the left foot and put the top of the foot down on the floor. So your toes are pointing behind you. Keep your core anchored and stand up tall and feel the length. Coming into the front of the right foot, the sorry, left foot, and then bend the knee. Stay tall through the center line, and lift, and bend the knee, and lift, and then replace the left foot on the floor. Bend the knee slightly, and then take the top of the right foot, pointing the toes behind you. Stay tall and lifted through the center line. And straighten the leg for the stretch in the front of the right foot. And bend the knees. And stand up tall. Stretch the front right foot. And bend the knees. One more time. And then let's replace the right foot onto the floor. Bring the hands onto the backs of the thighs. Engage the inner core. Wrap the ribs around. Slide your hands down the legs. Relax the upper body for a moment. Let the head hang. The weight of the head now giving some traction to the neck. Relax the shoulders. Reach your sit bones toward the ceiling. Pull your kneecaps towards your hip joint. Bring your hands to the backs of the thighs. Keep your chin down so your neck stays long and open your chest forward. Don't let your weight go into the heels. You're going to keep that even stance on those three points. Lengthening through the backs of the legs, through the front of the chest, and then come all the way up. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. We engage the core, and then we're going to roll the arms out of the sockets. Feel the opening across the front of the chest. Feel the uh, length through the whole front of the body. Relax the arms down. Continue to stand tall through the crown of the head. Don't, this doesn't mean rigid or forced outward with the chest. We want to stand easy and tall. And again, roll out. We have the support of the core, so it doesn't take tension in the periphery. And relax. And one more time. Roll the arms. 
down in the socket. Stand tall, a lot of distance between the soles of the feet and the crown of the head. And then relax it. All right, that'll do it. Oh, so just I want you to notice. Bottoms of the feet down, core engaged. Crown of the head up, shoulders relaxed. Standing at your full height. Okay, and that will do it. So quad into the world in your full height. Uh, I will not be here for the next two Saturdays. I'm sorry to miss two in a row. Um, and I won't make it back in time to teach on Wednesday. However, I'm going to try to do a couple little pickups during this next week. Um, I may not be able to give you advance notice, but they'll be here. So um, I'm going to be gone from the 19th to the 26th. Uh, so I hope that there's a couple that I did last week, a couple half hour classes. And then I'll do a couple more, I hope, this coming week. So check here on the feed if you want a new class. All right. Hope you're well. Thank you. Hi, Victor. Take care, everybody.